Good morning, party people. Welcome to Cali Towing, the coolest tow truck driver on the road. It's Thursday, man. It's my last day of the week. Still short trucks. I took the risk of stealing somebody else's truck again this morning. Now, hopefully, they don't call me to uh, take this bad boy back because I'm going to Apple Valley, which is like an hour away from here, to drop off a Honda Civic. So... Whatever happens, happens. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on post notification bell so when I upload, you don't miss a video and you don't miss a bullshit. Follow all links below. Let's run it. So if it ain't one thing with this company, Definitely another because this thing is telling me that I got low fucking cooling. What I'm gonna attempt to do, I'm still gonna probably try to run this call, even though it's risky as hell because it's literally going up the hill and it's like going to Asperia. So if you guys are familiar with going up the hill to Asperia and Apple Valley and all that, there's a freeway that goes uphill literally, and I hope this truck does not give me any issues, let alone I hope that the air brakes are well on this truck. I really do hope so because it's going to be a long ass trip. But you know what? I went to the yard at 2 in the morning. No, sorry. I picked up this truck last night at 10. And there were no trucks. And this was literally the only truck that was able to have the keys and run. Now there was another truck that had a key. But the power steering was out. I couldn't even turn the wheel. So that was out of the question. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna head back to the yard, um, fuel up a little bit. Let's see if anybody has something to say to me or if they go, hey Josh, don't use that truck. Let's see what kind of bullshit we get into today, huh? And I know you guys love watching this channel because unlike other tow channels, some tow channels actually have a lot of good uh, trucks, good winch, good all that stuff, man. But over here at Cali Towing, <laughs> We're home of the ghetto trucks in the ghetto, his house, baby. Let's go. So let's see how today goes, huh? I'm not gonna cut my day short today, fuck that. If there's no trucks, there's no trucks. I guess it's easy money like a layup, baby, and I'm gonna be chilling like a villain. Multi-thrilling, no killing, let's go. So far, so far, so good. Really no issues when I pulled up over there, and actually, coolant sensor is actually bad. So I told the mechanic, I was like, hey, is there anything wrong with this truck before I go to Apple Valley? He goes, nah, it's probably just the cooler, uh, the coolant sensor. So we popped open the hood and sure enough, yeah, it's the coolant sensor. There's a lot of coolant in here, so we should be all right. Also, the uh, the homeless driver that I be whipping in the truck with is actually, uh, he, he opened my door and he said, what up, give me pounds. So he's cool, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I guess it just took a couple times for him to be like, oh, well, I don't trust this guy. But then I drove his truck and nothing was wrong with his truck. Besides the fact, well, uh, besides the fact of what was already wrong with it, it's all good. Let's go ahead and pick up this white Honda Civic and let's deliver it to Apple Valley. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Uh, I'm gonna roll it down just a little bit, okay? All right. Okay. When you get home before you replace it. Check, uh, you gotta, you gotta, uh, pull this battery. This is not a get a winch. Hopefully this lip does okay. I don't want to. Same. All right, let's try it. Yeah, lips terrify me, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, usually they put some wood in front of there. Oh, you've had this towed before? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this truck doesn't come with that shit, man. It's not even my truck. Yeah, this thing does not have any wood. Look at this fucking axe right here. What the hell? Literally, a fucking axe. Guys. 
It'll probably do better just riding up. We gotta do something. I can't block the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pull it. Pull it. Pull it. All right. Are you, are you trying to throw it without ruining the front? Well, yeah, that's what I, I'm not trying to damage his lip. You're using the wrong blocks. You know I mean? Yeah, those are his blocks. That's all we got. Yeah, but yeah. you can still use those blocks. Okay. You gotta pull yours up. The only reason I know is because I have a lowered Impala. You're supposed to put them long ways, leave this out some, you're gonna pick the front wheels on his blocks. You'll pull this up a little bit so that you meet up the block, and then you're gonna pull it without damaging the front. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I you hear you. Long yeah, those are big okay. blocks. Yeah, those blocks, if you carry longer ones. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is not my truck, so they assisted me with theirs. <laughs> yeah, this truck didn't have blocks. Our policy is not to do uh, lowered cars. We're not uh, supposed to, but. You were triple A? Yeah. I try not to damage no vehicles, man, because that's a big liability. <laughs> so, you know, I try to be careful and shit. All right, man. Yes, sir. You're good, man. Yeah, put it in uh, park. All right, so I'm gonna move this out the way and I'm gonna finish strapping it up, all right? Pull over right here. All right. And big ass blocks would have took off that bumper. Actually, you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the lip was already going up by the winch. We didn't even need the damn blocks, but you know what? Whatever makes them comfortable, right? Let's finish strapping this baby down. All right, what you need for me, man? You good? Good? Yeah, you good. You all right? Now, I know one of these. Oh, it's this one. The air valve. The stem, whatever you want to call it. It's one of the scariest ones right there. Yeah, I try to avoid that. Really, I do. But there's times where I just can't. But you see, what you never do is do it from the bottom. I would usually go on top just because. But if you go here and this decides it wants to slide up, you're going to cut it. So what I'm going to do is I do it over. That. Seems like we're gonna have one hell of a drive. I love doing I love doing these one hour trips because I don't know, it just gives you some time away, you know. They say you work too much. Don't forget about yourself. Go on a little travel, go on a little vacation. I totally agree. Me and my wife we used to go on vacations literally once a month. Um until we had our kid and then like we gotta slow down for a little bit, get back to work a little bit, you know? Do our Dougie. But now, we're gonna start traveling very slowly with our son and my daughter and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna see us go through our family travels and our family bonding times, go ahead and do me a favor, go in the links below and subscribe to my other YouTube channel, The Nova Family, where you can get personal with my life outside of work. Let's go. Now what I'm worried about is going up this hill because this thing already feels like we got really, really, really slow acceleration. I don't even know what's gonna happen going up that hill. Not to mention the traffic is pretty bad going up that way at times. I really wanna make this content a little better for you guys. So if there's anything that I can do, if anything you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments. Let's go, baby. You guys see how I just literally came up from an overpass? This truck is not gonna make it up Apple Valley. Well, I'm not saying we're not. We most likely will make it up at a very, very slow speed. Maxed out 15 miles per hour going up this damn overpass. This truck is doing bad, yo. Like I'm smelling, I, I, gotta, I gotta smell the damn diesel in this thing. And we're literally maxing out 45 miles per hour. And we're not even really uphill. We're inclining a little bit, but I mean, where we're going is way more of an incline than what we're dealing with right now. So when we get up to that point, I don't even know what the hell is gonna happen. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of cars behind me. Damn, man, I don't know what to do. This is, it is what it is. This car, this truck is struggling really bad. So right now it's to the point where it's, I don't know if you guys can hear that. 
the engine is really pushing it. And I'm having all of these cars fly right by me. Look, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> Listen, I am not going to do it. I am not going to run this fucking call, man. I'm telling you. Look, I, if you guys are familiar with the Inland Empire area, I am just before the exit of Glen Helen Parkway on the 15th. Okay? That's literally the exit right there. I told my dispatch, I said, look, right after this exit right here, it's gonna start going towards the uphill battle. So I told her, I said, do you wanna send another driver over here to transfer this Honda onto another truck and do the delivery? Or do you want me to risk it for the biscuit? She said, how far are you? I said, this is exactly where I'm at. So she's sending another driver to load this car onto his truck because trust me, dude, it's gonna be a battle with this damn truck. I was literally going 35 to 45 max. No, I didn't even get close to 55 at all. Going up this hill was, was gonna be really, really bad. It's gonna be really bad, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. You know what I mean? Because it's and that's a very busy part of the freeway where it goes uphill. And last thing I wanna do is pull over to the side of the freeway, which is very, very slim. It's not even a big. It's not even a big side shoulder like this is right here. It's very, very small. And I'm not going to be there. And then we have to send another tow truck up there. Then you have two tow trucks on the side of the freeway on a small ass shoulder. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to look ugly. So, But this is another failed tow. But this is probably why you guys love watching Cali Towing. The coolest tow truck driver on the road. Because even though I'm the coolest, the shit that I deal with is crap. That's what I love. I love showing you guys the bullshit because I deal with that. And I see a lot of tow truck drivers out there deal with not really anything too crazy, man. But this company sucks. All right, let's wait for this other driver. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unload this car. He's not here yet, but I'm going to unload this. That way, we're not wasting too much time so that this could already be on the floor. And all he has to do is back up into it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. People on the freeway are probably like, is he loading or unloading? <laughs> I never had to unload a car on the freeway. Usually, we're taking cars off the freeway. <laughs> Imagine the dude that owns this car. He's all in his buddy's car on the freeway and sees his car on the freeway like getting unloaded and he's like, wait a second. There's a, there's a CHP officer. There's a CHP officer right across. He's probably wondering why I'm unloading. Let's drop this baby down. All right, now all he has to do is hook up to it. Yes, sir. What time is it? 10.43. Too early for some bullshit. <laughs> Too early for some bullshit. I should come out with some t-shirts like that. Would you guys wear them? Huh? What time is it? Too early for some bullshit. That's what time it is. <laughs> I definitely will come out with t-shirts if you guys want, man, for sure. Wow. Turns out there's wood right here. Tow truck driver is literally right, right here. So he's gonna be loading up that car. It's right here. If it ain't one thing, it's another. <laughs> I said, if it ain't one thing, it's another, man. No truck that I ever hop in ever does good, dude. <laughs> Continental, you need a driver. Huh? Continental towing, need a driver. Where are they at? Right there in Bali. Bali in a uh, big. Oh, really? Continental. Yeah, that's what I was working are there. Are they AAA? Yeah, they do AAA and they do a like, little con. All right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'm going to check that out. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of tow companies out here, man. Yeah. Check uh, Google Sandoval Towing in Fontana. I yeah. Think you need a driver. I'm trying to stay around the area. Yeah. That's a check Sandoval and I call it. And who told you? Telling Raul Hoya. They know him. Raul? Right on. Yo, hear that Continental Towing. Okay. Damn. Your bed is fast, man. 
my dog. It doesn't drive. Your bed is quick. Huh? Your bed is quick. Oh, I'm wood. <laughs> it, no, uh, I picked it up at his job, but he wants it to be dropped off um, by the garage, by his garage. He said there's Hondas there, just park it by the garage. Okay, I'm gonna park it, whatever. <laughs> there it goes. He used the mini J hooks though. Going to the frames, man. I like that better because you don't gotta deal with no drag. This is terrifying. I have picked up from here before. A little bit more down way, but same exit. Let me see if this is even the right person because there's another car up front. Hi, what's your name? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's you. What happened? Um, my God, is there a bad problem? You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you have a flat? Okay, uh, where's it going? To a tire shop? Uh, or is it going to a house? Can you take the tire? You want me to change it? Yes, please. I don't have a jack, that's the only thing. Uh -huh. Does this have a jack in the back? Okay, I, I think so. Yeah, we can check it if we can. It's gonna turn into a tire change. Not towing. Well, easy call, and it's on this side. I don't have to worry about putting my bed down. Though this is a very, very scary spot. I picked up over there last time. Yeah. It's gonna be underneath. Just uh, don't drive too fast, yeah, okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, straight the tire shop when you wanna... What happened? I said straight to the tire shop when I want to fix it. Yeah, you know? yeah, go straight to the tire shop. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Alright. There you go, guys. Drive safe, okay? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. God bless guys, thank you. Ooh, I got a dub for a tip, baby. All right, now listen, I know you guys are probably like, yo, you should, you should invest in a drill. I know, I should. I really, really should, and trust me. Doing this job for six years, I always love doing it by hand, but there are times when those will come in handy. A power gun, you know what I mean? Um, most likely I will eventually just, I didn't think I was really gonna do a tire change. Normally we don't do tire changes on the freeway no more, but for some reason, we did it today. That's probably gonna be the last call. It's 1254, about to be one o'clock, so. Let's ride out these next 30 minutes, and I'll see you guys then. All right, so it's gonna wrap it up for the end of this video. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's the last video of the week, so that means I'm gonna see you guys next week. 
And uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you guys like, drop a comment to be featured in the next video. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Because I'm the coolest, the coolest tow truck, truck driver, driver on the road. Cali, Cali, Tony. Play it safe and play it cool. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.